state your name and uh, read where you state that you live in, uh, please, for the court, would you, young lady? Sure. My name's Tamara Ward, and I'm from Delaware. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's going on in Delaware right now, Tamara? I'm not sure. Why don't you tell me? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh a sassy one. <laughs> Are you on vacation here in Los Angeles? Oh, uh, no, actually, I moved here. You did? Yes. Was it to escape some kind of oppressive political regime? How did you know? No, no. no. Uh, um, there, there's, uh, uh, Delaware is where um, Christine O'Donnell is, is uh, running for the Senate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I might as well just come out and say, are you a witch, Tamara? Uh, maybe. I, you know. All right. Then we're going to have to dunk her. <laughs> Are you all right with that? As long as it's not the witch trials, I'm fine. No, no, no. We, what we do is we dunk you, it's, uh, and then... Like if, baptismal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, a little more than that. We, we, we put you in water. <laughs> we put you in water, and, uh, and if you float and stay alive, then we'll burn you. <laughs> but, if, but if you drown, you're innocent. Terrible system, you know. We should really move on. Um, well, thanks for dropping by. What did you move to LA for? Uh, come out for the film industry. I want to be a director. A director? Yes. How great! I know, right? What kind of films are you going to make? Comedy ones. Get out. <laughs> thanks, Tamara. I. I forgot to ask Tamara the question I really wanted to ask her was, is it Tamara or Tamara? <laughs> I'll have to wait until she directs a film and then comes back to the show to talk about it. Or maybe I'll talk to her later in the show. Or maybe I'll forget. <laughs> because I'm losing my mind. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Tonight's performance by Blake Shelton is brought to you by T-Mobile. Helping families stay connected. T-Mobile, the family network. Sit down, relax, thank you. All right, everybody. That's great. Oh, yeah, it sounded really real there for a minute with your... I can't tell you what it feels like to see uh, thousands of people. I actually can't tell you what it feels like. To... Over 10 people phoning excited to see you. Guess what kind of a day it is? What? I will tell you. <laughs> it's a great day for America, that's what it is. And a great day for America. Aye, aye, aye. A great day for America. <laughs> but not a great day for one American, Christine O'Donnell. You know the woman that's running for the Senate in Delaware? The one that's uh, dabbled in witchcraft and doesn't believe in masturbation? <laughs> Crazy to spice up an otherwise boring election season. 
You know, when you're in the kind of job I'm in, this woman comes along, you're like, oh, thank you! Because to be honest, I'm not really into politics unless videos surface of candidates saying stuff like this. Look at this. Lust in your heart is committing adultery. So you, you can't masturbate without lust. You can, but it's bleak. <laughs> Call me nobody. That's just sad. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Anyway, Christine is busy making campaign appearances. Do we have a picture of Christine? There she is. Uh, yeah, there's her. The new young... Uh, voting for her, and I don't even live in Delaware. <laughs> anyway, today she's in hot water. She was caught lying about her educational background. Now, she may not believe in pleasuring herself, but she thought her resume needed massaging. <laughs> See, because what happened until last week, it said in her online profile that she attended Oxford University, which is, of course, one of the most prestigious colleges on earth. Stephen Hawking teaches at Oxford. It's where uh, Rhodes scholars go. Rhodes scholars go there as well. <laughs> That's where they go to get turned into scholars. <laughs> now, Oxford uh, was founded back in the year 1096 by a group of extremely smart oxen. <laughs> I love science, don't you? Let's create a university. That's right, in those days, oxen talked like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I love this woman. Anyway, now the truth is, she didn't go to Oxford, which is a shame because Oxford rugby team was called the Fighting Masturbators. <laughs> that's, that's their nickname because they always choke. No, that's, that's it's, no, it's not true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a woo to you too! A woo! A woo! A woo! In your pants. In your pants. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Christine O'Donnell didn't go to Oxford. It turns out she took a class from something called the Phoenix Institute, who happened to be renting a classroom at Oxford. <laughs> That's like, it's not the same as like saying you're a TV star when really you're just on CBS in the middle of the damn night. It's a very different thing. Now, I understand why Christine would uh, want people to think she went to Oxford. Oxford has produced some legendary politicians. Margaret Thatcher, Tony Blair, Bill Clinton went to Oxford. Aha! I'm sure Bill would remember Christine if he saw her at Oxford. <laughs> Hey, baby, I hear you're a witch. <laughs> you want to ride my broomstick? Because if you don't, I'll do it myself, and that would be wrong. <laughs> you know, I do. I, I sympathize with her, though. I sympathize with Christine O'Donnell. We all tell little white lies. I tell people I attended Yale, which is technically true, because it's the name of a bar in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> I majored in blah! In reality, of course, I never went to college, except clown college. I didn't graduate. I got kicked out for wrecking the clown car. 53 clowns died that day. Horrible, yet hilarious. She'd call it, that'd be a good name for this show, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, I, what I'm saying is I like Christina Donnell, and I think someone could still be a good senator, even without, you know, even, you know, even with the fibs on her resume. I think, it's, I think we shouldn't judge candidates for what they stand for, you know, it, well, we, we should. We should judge them. <laughs> no, let's not judge them on what they stand for. Let's just vote for them on whether or not you like their hair. <laughs> No, you, we, we, we shouldn't judge what they stood for, you know, 25 years ago. It's like what they stand for today. Because if you look at Christina Donald now, past the media hubbub and all that, and what she's actually saying, you'll see she's insane. <laughs> but look, I 
work in late night television and frankly we kind of need uh, one of those every now and again it helps is what I'm saying look give me one out of a hundred give me one now her real mistake wasn't lying about her education it was choosing a career where lines frowned upon she should have come to Hollywood or come back to Hollywood because here's another thing I found out and this is true a couple of years ago she worked for as a publicist for Mel Gibson <laughs> That worked out great. Her, her duties at the time were typing, filing, and blaming Jews for stuff. <laughs> anyway, the entertainment industry here is more forgiving of lying than they are in Washington. Sure, the Washington press corps will sometimes let, you know, little stuff slide, like saying you were born in Hawaii, or, uh... <laughs> Whose side are you on? I don't know! <laughs> it's commercials time. Oh, that's whose side I'm on. The great commercial enterprise of CBS. With the all-seeing eye. <laughs> I think CBS have noticed that... Well, how long has CBS been going? 75 years, something like that? Have they ever noticed... Well, the eye's not been there for 75 years. The eye only turned up when everybody started taking acid in the 60s. <laughs> I don't know if that's technically true. If you want to get the actual truth, go on Wikipedia. <laughs> By the way, some of the stuff I said about Christine O'Donnell isn't true. <laughs> For legal reasons. Mr. F, have yeah. you been working out in your pants? Hey! I have, but it's bleak. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> my next guest is a comp my next guest and my first guest well my first guest if you don't count Tamara at the very beginning of the show <laughs> which I do of course and by the way it's Tamara not Tamara Tamara like camera not Tamara like see you tomorrow <laughs> first guest tonight is a comedy icon. Uh, he's appearing uh, uh, on October the 16th at the Patriots Theatre in Trenton, New Jersey, and then October the 20th at the Moore Theatre in Seattle, Washington. That's a very long way from, um, hence the four-day gap. He's, uh... <laughs> Please welcome the adorable and lovely Stephen Wright, everybody. <laughs> Stephen Wright. There you are, look, they're, they're excited to see you. That's nice, that was a nice reaction. <laughs> they're happy to see you, as am I. You look thank wonderful, you, you look, look fresh. Yeah, thank you, you do too, thank you. Right. Imagine if people reacted like that to me if you just walked into a 7-Eleven. <laughs> that would be fantastic, be wouldn't it? That would be amazing. Like, uh, I'd like to get a <laughs> oh! He wants a slushy! Yeah! Have you got your hat on backwards? Yeah. Why? In case I'm gonna go the other way. Ah, no, come on. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, I'm... Um... Scale of one to ten. 
Well, I, I, you need to be more specific because in certain areas I'm fantastic, and in other areas, <laughs> other areas, I, like in, in like in sexually, I'm ten, right? <laughs> but emotionally, one. That's right, I masturbation understand. without okay. lust. You see, that's. <laughs> I read. <laughs> I read that book. You read what book? Masturbation without lust. Yeah. Are you a big reader? Do you read a lot of books? I read, you know, when I'm looking at the book, I read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I'm reading it's... a book now about the Beatles breaking up and uh, what happened after they broke up, and it's very disturbing. And uh, I'm still upset over the fact that they've broken up. <laughs> You gotta have to let that go a little bit. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't from Scotland, were they? The Beatles? Yeah. No, near Scotland, Liverpool. It's about uh, the distance from uh, Santa Monica to Culver City. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Everything's much closer in Europe. For example, if I was on... It's true, if I was on a bus in Scotland, I could look out the window and see France. Everything's much closer. Like, if I want to go to an Italian restaurant and I'm in England, I just walk out the door and it's just across the street. That's why there were so many wars over there. Because people didn't really know where they lived and stuff? No, they knew where they lived. They were just very... Too it was close. Too, it was too too close. close. Distance yeah. was different. Mathematical distance is different there. Different, yeah. So yeah. does time go different? Time like, is, is a different half there an as hour well. in like 27 minutes? Right, or? in European years, I'm 420. Wow. <laughs> you look fabulous. Thank you. you. Excellent. Good. See, you know, I feel kind of odd, because usually when you're here, we do the emails, and we aren't doing the emails. We thought we were doing them right now. You want to do some emails? I've got some. I've got some. Do you want to uh, blow my mouth organ? I'll give you a dollar. No, not, not in this lifetime. No, no, no. I got a spare one. Look, sanitized. Okay. All right. You want to? Do you play the mouth organ? I did when I was in prison. Okay. See that? Look at that one there. That's beauty there. Right there. Look at that. That's pretty good. Will you do that? I you studied, you want to do I that? I studied yeah. that in France, and uh, which was right near uh, Italy. Right near Italy, yeah. <laughs> do you want to do? Uh, sure. So when you do sure. the stand-up, that's a long way from New Jersey to Seattle. That's going to be a long trip. Yeah, but trip, there's that. a two-year gap. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, from Kristen in San Francisco. You oh, ever been yeah. there? Yes, I've uh, been there many times. Have you ever been to a parade there, wearing leather stuff? Yes, I have. Ever masturbated without lust? <laughs> Come on the show. Whoever knew this would be discussed? Yeah, all right. <laughs> they say, do you want to go on the show? I say, uh, all yes. right, all right. I would, I would bring it up again. Cle clearly, it's, it's a sensitive issue for you. <laughs> clearly, I need to build a time machine yeah. so I'll know what you're going to talk about before I commit to coming on here. <laughs> That, that doesn't make any sense at you're all right, because right. because then that would be like wherever you went in the world you would need to phone ahead to see what the conversation's gonna be yeah i don't like working without a net well tell annette she can come out and she can sit there in the other chair is that girl's name annette that's annette yeah wow. all right this is uh from <laughs> I like the Annette. The Annette That's thing funny. was good, That's wasn't funny. it? Yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't have worked if she was named something else. Yeah, I know. I know. 
You want to you do this? Yeah. All right, then. This is from uh, Kristen in San Francisco, which is in California. Yeah. You ever been there? Yeah, yeah. never been to California. All right. <laughs> Kristen says, Dear Craig and Stephen, I think she probably meant that. She didn't write it in, but she meant that. <laughs> they, were, they were protesters at my college today, and their banner had a huge picture of your snake tattoo on it. Do these protesters work for you? Yes. They're protesting that you have snake tattoos. Yeah, yeah, they're very, they're very angry at me of getting a tattoo of this. Uh... No, this is, this is a. Do you have these? Yeah. Where you come from? I have them, but they're on the other side of my skin. You can't see. Them. Yeah, that's the. One. <laughs> that's the way they used to do them. This is, uh, this is from Rick in San Diego, which oh, is... Yeah. Uh, You've been there yeah, in San Diego? Yeah, and I'm my brother's name Rick, but that's not him, but go ahead. Does your, does your brother Rick uh, live in San Diego? No. Because no. that would have been weird. Yeah. Says, so, dear Craig and Stephen, now with the advances in TV, would you ever consider doing a show in 3D? Would you like to do a show in 3D? That would be good. I'd it? like to do one in 1D. <laughs> To conserve dimensions, you know? Yeah, it's, all right. Every, it's, everything's being wasted. Too much gas, too much energy, too many dimensions, too, too much time. <laughs> like if the world ended, it would save on time. Yeah, you're kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater there a little bit, aren't you? I like to think in big pictures or like in stamps. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, all right. This is from Sally in uh, Hampton Beach in New Hampshire. Oh, yeah, 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 I know her. <laughs> she says, uh, have you ever tried lobster ice cream? <laughs> Don't judge. Yeah, That's disgusting. Uh, yeah, uh, That's yeah. disgusting. Do you know that lobsters mate for life? <laughs> you mean with each other? No, man, I'm not a marine biologist. You know, they asked me, uh, what do you want to talk about when you're out there? And uh, we haven't covered anything. Well, you know, I'm not you know complaining, why. I'm just making an observation. Well, you know why, though? Why? Because they didn't ask me. <laughs> I, I, if I don't know the plan, I can't stick to it. What do you want to talk about? Is there any more? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, we have to go. You know, we're out of time. Uh, but we'll do another one because he's a, you know, never mind. Uh, <laughs> all right, this is a tweet from Mark in Oklahoma. Uh, you ever been to Oklahoma? I've been there twice. Been there twice, but not in real life. Okay. A guy on TV reading him to himself. Yeah. <laughs> Pe Pe guy on TV with his hat on backwards. <laughs> uh, all right, here's, here's what we've got to get going, though. Really, yeah, we're over time. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is from Melissa in Princeton, who says, uh, Dear Craig, I'm going to be in L.A. for Halloween. Is there any place to, fun to hang out in LA, L.A. in Halloween? Yeah. In your pants. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, there is that. Is that a real robot? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see any robot. That, that thing's dressed better than me. You know... Yeah. I think it went downhill after the harmonica, really. <laughs> just cut it in a loop, just like eight minutes of that. Yeah, and then show it at the gas station. Don't you love that? When you go at the gas station, you get gas, and Jay Leno's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Like, don't I got a minute to myself here? 
Oh, you mean he's on the TV? No, no, he's actually in the oh. gas station. <laughs> we should take that on the road. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's always a pleasure being yeah, here. It's very, thanks Scale of one to ten, I would say that my experience here tonight was like a nine point one. <laughs> Well, that's good. That means it's pretty good, but there's yeah. still room for improvement. But you don't know how I was measuring it. <laughs> Stephen Ray, everybody, we'll be right back. is an author. Now, an author, if you don't know, it's kind of like a blogger, but some went to college. <laughs> uh, she's a very, very clever author. She wrote this book, which is called uh, How Did You Get This Number? Which is a story about a bear that starts using a telephone <laughs> to menace people. He, like, he would call them up and go, <laughs> I haven't read it yet. But the author is very, very talented, very beautiful. Please welcome Sloan Crosley, everybody. Sloan Crosley. Sloan, welcome. Hello. I'm so sorry about uh, last week uh, when William Shatner was here and you were going to be on, and then I'm sorry about that happened. There are worse people to get bumped for than William Shatner. William Shatner, yeah. I, he's, could, I won't name them. He's, a, he's an American legend. Well, he's uh, a I, Canadian one Canadian, as well. Canadian, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, college, what else are you going to correct me on? Hey, may I say that you look better than any other author who has ever been here ever in the history of authors? I'm just saying. You should interview more actresses turned authors. Because Were you an actress? No, but I imagine well, they're very, very easy on the eyes, and I, you don't have to read No, but this is proper writing. You don't know that. It could be... I wrote that. I read the first one. Ah, uh, see? Okay. I did. I did actually write. Well, actually, I wrote it on a laptop, so it's not really proper, proper writing. Well, I could, no, you, you know. don't have to write with a quill pen to be a real writer. Well, I told someone the other day that I had a lot of writing to do and that I, I you know, couldn't uh, be out too late because I had a lot of writing to do, and I did this symbol. Right. And my friend sort of looked at me and she's like, you're gonna go home and give someone a very bad massage. That's what you're gonna do. Doesn't look no, that bad to know. me. Give it a go, <laughs> let's say. Yeah, I'm all right I with it. I can't feel good, no. It's a star. Well, it's, it's yeah. not the worst thing in the world, yeah. Well, no, so this is a, 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 about a woman that gets attacked by a bear on the It phone. is, it's about bear attacks in the Southern Plains. That's not true. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but was, I knew it wasn't true, but the audience were like, oh. I can't, like, wow. I did go to college. Yeah, I know, so I know. But, uh, that listen, means a lot about the Southern People plans. that went to college still can write stories about bear attacks. That's true. There is a bear attack story in this. It's about... No. Well, but the attack is not on the bear's part. Uh, I saw Someone a bear. attacks a bear? Yes. That's ambitious. I saw... <laughs> Not if you have a car. Oh. I know. Now it's gotten sad. No. So they run a bear Yeah, over? it happened. I'm actually ruining the ending to one of the essays as we speak. As I speak. Hey, none of these people are going to read. They're so not going to read it. Don't get off. It's, about, it's, about, it's, about, it's a sad thing that's turned funny and light the way bear death can, can bear, be. Bear... <laughs> well, bear death is never funny, Sloan, but... But I think sometimes we can learn something. You know, this is interesting. I, this is the first time in the history of authors that the author looks better than their photograph in the book. I, well. A friend of mine took that photo. She's going to be really mad. No, no. <laughs> when I say that... <laughs> well, look, you can't please everybody. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but it was just... Uh, uh, it's not the... Uh, hey, so the bear hey! dies? Well, I look better than the bear. There's no, no the, the bear... Yeah. Actually, I like... That's a grizzly bear. Did you know that? That... That, that can't be true. Is that true? <laughs> well, I, I can't know, know anything. I'm not responsible to the... To the it's possibly true. Actually, the woman who took this photograph um, also... Uh, it's a real bear. You know, it's not a man in a bear suit. <laughs> a lot of people think it's a, it's it's a, a man, man in a bear suit. Why would you... <laughs> hey, hey, we're not going there. He's 
so ex unnaturally expressive. What, th this? I think so. You can't really tell, probably. It's probably too small on camera, but he's got a lot of, uh, he's well, got a lot of life in him before yeah, it that, 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 no, that's a bear that has some, a kind of sardonic quality. I can <laughs> He's kind of like a... As do the... As do the... Ask his... Yes, I know no. your writing has a certain... <laughs> so we finally return to no, that. No, we can... We can depart. Uh, <laughs> now, you, but you write a little bit... You, uh, uh, in the first book, you wrote a little bit about New York City. Cause you I live did. in New York City. I do. I live in New York, and it was very much a sort of uh, dark comedy coming of age uh, in your 20s in New York. And this one takes that sort of... Uh, pessimism and, uh, you know, general adds melancholy. Bears. Adds bears, takes it on the road. There's also yeah. clowns in this book. Clowns? But none of them die. Clowns? Clowns. Are the clowns evil? No, there's, they're, they're mimes. Or I thought they were mimes when I first met them and then I started speaking. Talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the giveaway. Yeah. Poorly trained mimes. Yeah, right? yeah. But no, um... Where did you meet clowns in New York? Well, I didn't. I actually went to Lisbon to meet I've the clowns. Lisbon. I didn't see any clowns. Really? Yeah. Well, you must have been going to the wrong place. I clearly I was in the wrong place. Yeah. I went, uh, I spun a globe and decided uh, I was going to go wherever my finger hit, uh, so long as it didn't deplete my whole life savings going there. Right. And um, I landed in Lisbon in the I middle like of winter. I like you a lot. I did it. Yeah, no, that's I good. I like that. Well, actually, I'm lying to you a little bit, though. The I, I like that, too. <laughs> That's, that's up to, I'm like, really? Go, lie some more. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a sort of conversational oil, the, the lying. But, um, no, I, uh, I, the first time. Isn't that the greatest <laughs> thing you ever, that is the greatest thing I ever heard. I wasn't lying, honey, it's conversational oil. It is. And you need, it's, you it's need that strength. if you're giving a bad massage. Are you <laughs> That's true, because you have to dip your fingers... Dip your fingers in the oil, and then... In lieu of the ink that you would use yeah. if you were actually writing, not exactly. on a laptop. All right, tell me what you were doing. I somehow... Oh, yes, I uh, spun the globe, and this is what I was lying. I didn't point to Lisbon at first. At first, I spun it with much drama and pointed to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and I thought, no one's watching. No. <laughs> I did it again and uh, landed in Lisbon, and I was a pretty lonely, odd, dark time. Then the last night I was there, I met a troop of clowns who befriended me and made me drink. <laughs> Are you sure this hasn't happened to you? <laughs> Are you positive? Wait a minute. Does this, does this sound familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking with clowns in Lisbon, which is important for me because I have a I had a huge uh, fear of clowns, as as everyone does. Aren't you afraid of clowns? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> because of what I, happened. No, I I learned their ways. <laughs> Anyway, long story short, they, they befriended me and I uh, convinced them that I was not uh, an alcoholic through a series of picture drawings. Because I don't speak Portuguese, so we right. have to actually speak in drawings. Right. <laughs> you know when you draw... Yeah, I know. I, mean, I, know how to <laughs> I know how to speak in drawings. I just, you know, it's an unusual like choice with kind of clowns sort of. speaking in drawings in a bar well, in Portugal. I, they spoke a little bit of... I just, you know, I don't speak any... Um, Did you try using horns or car, you know, like maybe uh, concertinas I or... I tried. They think they thought I was making fun of them, weirdly. I don't know They're why they clowns. would think that. They're very sensitive. Yeah, no, clowns are, are sensitive. You know the Tears of a clown, never heard of that? Send in the clowns. Send in the clowns. Which that was uh, Celine Dion, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See, uh, William Shatner. The Canadians. Yeah, the yeah, Canadians. Yeah. Just keep Canadian on coming song. up. Yeah. I know they are. We're out of time, which I hate. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I know, and I hate that. I know, I'm apologizing, but I'm sorry. No, no, you. <laughs> are you? You sure you're not Canadian? You just apologized oh. for something that wasn't your fault. <laughs> that was conversational oil. Nah, you can say it. Lubricant. Yeah. <laughs> you to come back here before you write the next book. Okay. Because I, I, I give me a week to read it and then come back and we'll talk about it. Oh, it would be like a book club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be oh, awesome. Be I'll be like Oprah, except poor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll fly to Chicago. You can fly to Chicago it and, take I, there. and I'll be like, and they'll, they'll be like, ah. <laughs> when the paperback comes out, will it have a bear on it too? I don't know. I hope so. Or maybe a different animal. Your animal of choice we can put on the cover. Let's put a clown on it. Okay, done. <laughs> it's old.
That'd be nice. Sold. All right, Sloane, you have to come back. Give me, uh, give me about, ooh, how many pages? Um, 290-something. Two, yeah, 297. All right, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need a month. Okay. Uh, I didn't go to college. That's, so, I, I so barely was like, conscious during it. It's fine. The clown yeah. poured me but a large... I can write it out for you in pictures if you'd like. Pitch? You'll do a picture version of this for me? Yeah. If you ask nicely, yeah. Uh, I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Sold. Sloan Crossley, everybody. We'll be right back. A huge star he's making the tv debut of his hit song who are you when i'm not looking please welcome blake shelton everybody blake shelton <laughs> Cause you're feeling bad Do you paint your toes Cause you bite your nails Call the mama when all else fails Do you listen to your music quietly? 